Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Before we take some main slate for the end draft games, the one starts at 7 o'clock. I'm not going to be going over the early slate. Anyway, before we continue though, if you could leave a like, subscribe to the channel, really appreciate that. Uh, also, you can follow me on Twitter at cpen underscore 16, that's with two N's. And if you want to access to this cheat sheet and then the pitching model, the hitting model, all that position by position breakdown, you can follow me on Twitter, shoot me a DM, and I will send you the link for it. Just as easy as that. All right, anyway, so let's get into the uh, slate. So uh, SP1 today for me is going to be Blake Snell, 11,300. He's by far the best pitcher on the, on the slate, and he gets a great matchup for Toronto, who strikes out a ton versus lefties, and also at home in Tampa Bay, which is a great place for pitching. I also think the Rays are going to get the win today versus Trent Thornton, so I think he's going to have an awesome game. 30 points isn't out of the question, and I look for Blake Snell to dominate this lineup. And then uh, Walker Bueller, 9,600. Now, it is possible to get both of these guys in, but it's probably going to be at the sacrifice of, like, Arenado or Story. Just letting you know that now, but there's a lot of good value options at bats. But he hasn't had less than 21 points in four straight games, and I think that's going to continue versus the Mets at home. And then Pablo Lopez, 6,600. I could see him being popular tonight for a way for people to get up to cores. He's at a fair price versus San Francisco, and it's only a 7 over under, and I... Uh, He's been, he showed some upside. He's not the best pitcher in the world, but for 6,600, I definitely think he's worth it. And he's also at home in Miami, which is a good pitcher's park as well. And a catcher at Blake uh, Swihart. It's either Swihart or Swihart. Uh, 3,700. Uh, it's a good way to get cheap exposure to cores, and it's going to be the same reason as uh, Ianetta. And then uh, John Hicks, 3,300. You can hit lefties decently, and it gives up power to righties. And also, if you're not using any of these guys, just punt the position. I think Maldonado is 2,900, 2,800. They're sort of catching on and pricing him up, so that sucks. But don't mind him at all. And then at first base, Jose Abreu at 4,900. He's been reverse splits this year with a 285 ISO versus righties. So I'm definitely interested in Abreu tonight. And then, at, what's he going against? Sparkman, I believe. So. And then uh, Mark Reynolds, 3,500. As long as he's in the lineup today, he's probably going to be batting fourth. And he's going to be chalked tonight facing a lefty, but... That's a talk I'd want to play, 3,500, and he has left these very well in Marine Corps Field. So. And then uh, G-Man Choi, 3,700. I can't see much people playing Rays, but all the lefties are in a good spot tonight versus Thornton. And then, so don't mind him. And then second base, Sterling Cash, 2,500. So the Marlins have scored a lot of runs uh, recently. So, I mean, I guess they had to at some point. And uh, with Castro betting cleanup versus lefty at this price, he's going to let us pretty much do anything we want with our lineup. So I think he's definitely in play. Probably where I'm going to go tonight in cash games, because I can I can see him being like 60% owned, probably 50%, unless something else opens up. But definitely like Castro as the uh, main value option on tonight's slate. Then Nicky Lopez 3600. Uh, so Reynaldo Lopez really struggles with lefties, and then Nicky Lopez uh, decently versus as decent versus righties, and he's going to be leading off versus them, so it makes a lot of sense. And I do think the Royals are Royals lefties are a nice stack tonight. <clears throat> and then. Brandon Lau, I think it's Lau, uh, 4,700, uh, just lefty versus Thornton, I said I do like these raised lefties tonight, and then third base, Nolan Arenado, 5,600, he's facing lefty in course, so you know the drill, he's got a 446 ISO versus lefties this season, and he has three homers off of Ray, as they've seen each other a lot, so should be able to know his pitch mix well, and be able to see the ball ball from him, and hopefully take one out of the park, and then Matt Carpenter, 4,200, he got the boot from leadoff duties, which is deservedly so because he's barely batting 200. Um, but fifth isn't too bad. Nola still struggles with lefties uh, so far this season, so I don't, I don't like I don't mind Carp. And then Hanser Alberto, 4200. He's been great versus uh, lefties this season, and now he gets to face one of the worst pitchers in the league in Carpenter, plus a terrible bullpen. So I do like these Orioles a lot tonight, and he, and they are priced up because they just went off in cores, and then you know they get another good matchup versus Detroit. But he's still decently priced, so I don't mind him at all. And that shortstop, we have Trevor Story, 5,200. So he's more affordable than Nolan. And really, just we like him for the same reasons as Nolan. And he has two homers off of Ray as well. Then Trey Turner, 4,400. This is kind of just a BVP play. He's been oddly good versus Gosman. He's got a 500 average. I believe he's 7 for 14 and zero strikeouts. So that's really good that he's been making a lot of contact versus him. And he's got 252 ISO versus his main pitch. And Trey Turner can always steal some bags. Although it's going to be kind of tough versus Gosman. But. Then Jonathan VR, 4,900. Uh, most likely spending up at shortstop today, as you can see. And I just love all these Orioles today versus Detroit. I just hope the game plays because there's some weather concern there. But I think they're going to be fine for playing. There might be a delay. But 
Should be fine for bats. And then in the high priced outfield, we have Austin Meadows, 5,600. Like I said, I don't think these raids are going to be owned tonight. And they, these raids left, these are my sneaky stack of the day. And then Trey Mancini, 5K, just another O's righty versus Carpenter. And then Andrew McCutcheon, 4,800. So the Phillies get a nice matchup versus a new lefty pitcher being called up. I think his name is Genesis Cabrera. And then uh, he's, so far this season, uh, minor leagues, he's got a 6.35 XFIP. And I don't think that's going to end well for him tonight. And I do think these Phillies are in play, like uh, Reese Hoskins, JT Real Muto, uh, Andrew McCutcheon, so guys like that. I know I don't have them listed, but they're just pretty expensive, So, but McCutcheon's fairly priced. Then in the mid-range outfield, we have Ian Desmond at 3900 just a cheap righty versus Ray. And then Keanu Broxton, 3900 just a cheap righty versus Carpenter. And then Michael Brantley, 4300 uh, Finally, his price is down from 5500 and you guys know he's one of my favorite plays in DFS just because he's only contact rate, and I think he's a very underrated player. And, um, yeah, he's facing a righty, even though it's Hendricks, but at that price, he's definitely a play for me. And then in the value outfield, we have Austin Dean and Garrett Cooper, just cheap one-offs versus a lefty for the Marlins. And then Blake Sweetheart, right? Swihart, we already talked about. And then Josh Reddick, uh, pretty much the same reasons as Brantley. Obviously, he's not as good. But he should be leading off, I believe, versus Hendricks. And then we go, if we go to some of the core plays. Uh, right now, I have Blake Snell. I'm going to be paying up for him. Uh, so he's going to be my main pitcher tonight. And i got to figure out what I want to do with SP2. If I want to spend up and use more value options, I can get up to Walker Bueller. But if not, if I want cores, I'm going to have to go down to Pablo Lopez. And then a second base, Sterling Castro. Just excellent value. And same with Desmond. Just... Good value there, and he usually gets bumped up a little bit versus lefty, so he should be betting around fifth. And then impactful weather, uh, cores, so that might lower their ownership. I think Kevin Roth has it as yellow orange, but he does think it's going to play. Then Detroit, Baltimore, I think they're yellow orange as well, and then St. Louis, Philly, I think they're orange, so that it's kind of concerning. So just make sure you keep an eye on the weather today. And then the top stacks for me are going to be cores, so that's also the Diamondbacks, and I do think the Diamondbacks are an awesome spot, but they're just insanely priced, like draw Dyson's. 5,800, Escobar is like 5,800, it's just too expensive for me, it's just not worth it. Although, they're, I mean, they're good plays, but I mean, for the price, I don't think I want to do that. And the Orioles, and the Phillies, and then the Rays, lefties, I should say, and then the Royals, specifically the lefties as well. And then the Braves, because it's super hot there, so I think it's like 90 degrees, so I don't have any Braves listed, but they are in a good spot. The Nationals game as well, so. But yeah, that's all I have for the video, guys. Remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate that. We're entering our way to a thousand, so that'd be pretty awesome if we can get there somewhat soon. Um, so yeah, thanks to thanks to all who are subscribed and watch the videos and leave likes. And yeah, good luck today.